But when you say mental breakdown, what yeah. happens when you have a mental break? Because I, because I, I feel like I've had one as well, and I yeah. had to go and get myself. You know, I, I just went through a really tough time, and a lot of people out there do. A lot of people. Well, every, I feel like every great actor should have one, um, <laughs> um, because it really changed everything. Uh, I got married. So basically what happened was my show ended, numbers ended. I didn't know who I was anymore. I didn't know what my career was. I got married and the very next day I flipped the fucking, I flipped out. We made the mistake. I made the mistake. We booked uh, our honeymoon the next morning in St. Bart's, beautiful place, except we went during the off season. So everything was closed. And when we got there, uh, the, the island had just had like a massive storm. So the internet and TV was knocked out. So here I come from like the most wild raucous night of my life and this huge momentous occasion. And I find myself in an island in the middle of nowhere where all the stores are closed. All the restaurants are closed. The only food I can get is at the hotel. There's no one at the hotel. Fucking place is empty. And I got like island fever. And that's how the nervous breakdown sort of started. So my so three, three and a half days in, I said to my wife, I said, we got to get out of here. And we had booked an eight day honeymoon. And we left. We left my <laughs> much to her parents chagrin. You know, my in-laws were like, what the fuck is going on? And I was like, I'm, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I can't stop panicking. I can't. I have bad anxiety. I cannot stop panicking. The anxiety then turned into really deep, paralyzing depression. I, I became agoraphobic. I couldn't leave the house. And it went on for nine months. It was a full nine months. Right thing. after you get married. And right after my show ends, which was a big successful show. Yeah. So my, my wife, God bless her, was just like, who is this person? And you tricked me. You basically, you tricked me. We're married now and you're a mess. How did this happen? And I felt terrible. I felt so bad, you know, and it made things worse, you know, that I had to face her. And I was scared of her. I was like scared of her coming home because I didn't want to be a burden on her. Um, it was really, really intense, really intense time. Um and uh, I got sober during it. I got, you know, I tried everything I could, you know, I, I wasn't into getting on meds, but then I sort of, sort of, you know, you know, uh, just put, I just realized I was powerless over what was happening. And again, it was all happening mostly because my thyroid wasn't working, but I didn't know that. Um, but yeah, I, I became a total recluse shut in nervous mess ball of depression like scary depression deep 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 depression for nine months did she did and you think she was gonna her. leave you no uh no really no. what made you feel that way that she wasn't gonna leave right. me yeah um she's the most wonderful person on earth and i knew and and she was my motivation to get better. You know, if I was alone or whatever, single, dude, I would have probably maybe even offed myself, to be honest with you. You were that bad. Oh, it was bad. It was really, really bad. I lost my mind. You know, you lose your mind. You know, you, you just, you lose it. 